going to take to the air, dangle from dangerous cliffs, and explore some of America's most spectacular archaeological sites. We're digging for the truth, and we're going to extremes to do it. I want to experience the extreme, but I want to experience through Josh, who's a professional. So if you start oh. looking at these, they're called loopholes, you start yeah. looking through them, a lot of times along walls, they point in different directions mm -hmm. and show you things water. happening. If you weren't extreme, you wouldn't have your head in that hole. You wouldn't be looking over the edge of the cliff. That's dangerous. Yeah. Now he's getting into some sort of like jet propelled parachute. It's clearly the only way to do archaeology. He's, he's up here doing a whole new type of archaeology and you know it's a it's almost like parachute archaeology or something and I bet that if you if you were to check the current archaeological literature you would find that he probably coined that term right after this scene yeah. you know parachute archaeology parachute archaeology because yeah. no one has ever done this before <laughs> yeah or, or maybe even self-propelled parachute archaeological investigation when he gets up into his jet propelled parachute the cinematography that he gets is so clearly not archival footage. It's not 16 millimeter footage. He's probably up there with his G4 laptop, probably processing the footage right there, sending it back to his producers. <laughs> amazing. He's hitting it from every angle. Yep, yeah, it's it's amazing footage. It's clearly he's taking this footage. Exactly. You know, he's and he's up there not only flying a jet propelled parachute, but he's holding a video camera or or two. Who knows? <laughs> I think he's getting multiple ankles up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Okay, seems okay to me. One of these days, I'll get used to doing stuff like this. I think the only way to really find out about the Anasazi is to cliff dive. His his Patagonia shirt with the with the air vents underneath, I think, are gonna really help him to get at the root of what's going on at this site. Well, it's particularly the aerodynamic. Yes, he's going to need to actually fly over these sites. I think that's going to that shirt is going to be essential. As extreme as, as Josh is, he appears to be sober. All I know is that just watching this makes me want to take a Valium. And we were able to notice the indigenous jewelry that that Josh was wearing while he was tapping into his Wi-Fi on his PowerBook G4. Product placement totally cool. Accessing the most important citations about cannibalistic Anasazi, which we know are, you know, blogs, you know, and like little short articles written in Time Magazine. This mystery is almost unraveling itself for him. I mean, he's not even working for it. Yeah. Hundred years of research, archaeologists have been out here digging stuff up, talking to people, and all of it really was unnecessary because Josh is out there and it's all just happening on its own. And God, they were so lucky that there was a camera there to film it. He's out there, like shit is happening to him, and he's just reacting to it. I think the TV crew is 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 the reason why archaeology always felt it didn't have a TV crew. How could it. someone envision something like this? And, and and you know, I've got the answer to that. You can't. You can't envision this because because it's all happening right now. You know, this yeah. is reality yeah. TV. There, this moment only happened once, and if they weren't there to capture it, we wouldn't be experiencing it right now. I'm just feeling like there's just pure mediation, there's pure communication going from me through the TV out into the world to a satellite, down into Josh, who's, who is more or less the embodiment of his honest, honest people at this point. Here. Okay, seems okay to me. Extreme editing of the extreme Anasazi from the extreme archaeologist is in effect making me become an extreme Anasazi. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>